Hi, this is John from Flat Cat Gear. Today we're going to be unboxing an MSR WinPro 2. This is a uh, remote fed invertible canister stove, uh, similar to what I use with uh, the Kavia Spider. Uh, we're going to be doing an unboxing and then I'm going to do a comparison, contrast the differences between the uh, WinPro 2 and the Kavia Spider, and also tell you a little bit about my thoughts about uh, canister top stoves compared to remote stoves. So here's the uh, MSR WinPro 2, ordered on Amazon. Um, kind of surprised how big this box is, but uh, we'll see. Pretty fancy box. See, initial impression is it seems like it's pretty big, whatever's in here. So here's the stove itself, um, three-legged, typical. Okay. No detents, the legs just slide open and stop, that's not too bad. Uh, interesting, really cool. They're, uh, you know, at Flat Cat Gear we've always had uh, included heat shields uh, with our stoves and here they have a nice heat shield, great safety feature, always recommend that. Um, soft folded aluminum windscreen that goes around it, great. An instruction manual, yeah, who needs the instruction manual? Okay, so there it is. Uh, Here's a top view, on the left we have the uh, MSR Win Pro. on the right we have the uh, Covia Spider. Uh, immediately what you can, the biggest difference you can see is the burner head. Um, the burner head on, on the uh, Win Pro is probably six, seven times as large. Uh, so one of the things I'm going to be concerned about is uh, how well it simmers, especially with a head that big. Uh, the leg difference is that so you've got a stamp, looks like probably a steel part versus uh, uh, steel wires. I think weight-wise they're probably pretty close. Uh, so pretty comparable, the biggest difference being the head. Uh, preheat, they both have preheats, they're a little bit different on each of them. Um, all right. Okay, just from unboxing the kit, um, it's a pretty impressive little stove. Um, what's really nice is the stove is well designed. Um, I, I tend to like the detents on the legs, but this will probably be fine. The, uh, the way they hold the canister for the remote is uh, very nice. Uh, I bought this on Amazon. I think my product cost was about $82. It's great that it comes with uh, aluminum uh, for the windscreen and the heat shield that comes with it. Um, all in all, I think from a value standpoint of view, it's probably pretty comparable with the Covia. Covia is a little bit less expensive at somewhere around, uh, I think you can buy them about $45, maybe $55, depending on where. Um, what's going to really come down to performance, so particularly with a name like WinPro, uh, hopefully it does real well in the wind. Um, I'm not going to be testing it in the wind uh, because uh, all my stoves I use windscreen, so, um, but I am going to be testing it for dry baking. Really two key reasons why um, I prefer remote stoves. Uh, number one is all stoves, regardless of what kind of stove you have, esbit, um, alcohol, canister, white gas, all stoves really need a windscreen out in the field. Uh, the most, some of the most popular stoves are these canister stop stoves. and. Uh, they're okay. They're, they're, there are two issues that they run into. Uh, number one, you really, uh, there's a small diameter, it's tall, so it's very tippy. So you need a level surface. Well, good luck finding that in a lot of places. Uh, most of the places that I camp uh, aren't exactly flat. So that's one issue. Number two is, as I said earlier, every, every uh, stove needs a windscreen. Um, it's really difficult to put a windscreen on a canister top stove because uh, the fear of overheating the canister. Yes, yeah, you can put a shield in front of it. Uh, you can do um, half, three quarter windscreens. Uh, a little dicey depending on how you do it, but it can be done. So the advantage to me on a remote stove is one, number one is stability. Um, the legs are generally wider. It's lower to the ground when you get your pot there. 
Uh, number two, you can put a windscreen around it. Uh, so those are big issues. In particular with remote feed stoves, um, I would go with an invertible stove. Uh, the reason being, the invertible stove allows you to uh, work in environments that uh, regular stoves don't, canister stoves. Uh, particularly when it gets about freezing, uh, the gas mixtures kind of get all wonky and you get a little frame. Uh, by being able to invert it, you're actually putting liquid through the stove, goes through the preheat, warms it up, and it just expands the use of your stove, uh, expands the temperature range you can use your stove. Uh, so, um, I love the Covia. I've been using the Covia for years. The Wind Pro looks uh, pretty impressive at the start. Uh, let's see about dry baking. <laughs>